Okay, so it is 7.15 in the morning. I'm off to Fulham for their official Adidas Fulham 10K. Thanks to the people at Adidas. Um, the race starts at nine, so I really need to get going. Also, a little side note, everything that I film today will be on my Google Pixel. So, there we go. Right. Vegan all day breakfast burrito. What? Yes. Okay, so we are in Parsons Green Starbucks. It is the only coffee shop open at 7.55 a.m. John, he's here. I mean, John actually ran a half two, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. At like a decent pace. Today, today, super chill. Um, so it's an hour until it starts. Got to go to the village. It's hot. Very hot. Yeah, hot. Um, yeah, so about an hour to go. So, race time. <laughs> Six thousand. Six thousand. Biggest ten k's in. In. Uh, as you can probably tell behind us, it's actually really cold. Um, but beautiful. So the Adidas City we're on the Fulham 10k, it's our flattest 10k that we do. So you picked a good one. Yes! Yes! What's the yes? <laughs> we're in the race, yes! <laughs> Last minute toilet gang. <laughs> Come on, John! <laughs> there are so many people. Oh my god. We abandoned the, the toilet just because the queues were too long. We found out we're actually near the front because we're VIPs. And what up, John? And what up? Come on! <laughs> Boo. 1k down. Running by Stamford Bridge. Um, coming up to 2k. But, pretty easy so far. 2k down, 8 minutes 40 seconds ish. Uh, so we aim for 5 minute kilometers. We're currently running 420. Oh, 420. Cheers. 3 kilometers. Bang. Five K down. Running it quite quick at the moment. I'd probably say we're running it about four thirty, four forty. But still feeling good. We could gas it last 2k if you want. We'll see, we'll see. Yes, chap! We were there too long, right? <laughs> that 8k. Now we raise it, John. Okay, one more to go. Right, probably about, well, less than a kilometer now, probably about 600 meters left. 
I think we're gonna hit 44. <laughs> Badly need the toy. We had a bit too much coffee this morning, so. But it was a lovely run. I think we loosened up after the first like two miles, uh, two kilometers. I was a bit like, we've gone quick here. I was like, yeah, I thought yeah, we started quick. Quite a lot. There was a lot of people yeah, no, running really pacey. Yeah, like beginning. 40 minutes. And then traffic got a bit heavy, so yeah, that maybe I don't know slowed us down in the middle section. We weren't really running competitively, were we? No, we weren't. Timothy was dancing. So. No, no, yeah, no, we were. No, you were dancing. I wasn't dancing. Yes, John. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. Uh, sorry, I just had a shower, so my hair's a little bit silvery. 10K this morning, got back now. Um, we run it in, okay, so we run it in around 46 minutes or 45. Obviously, it wasn't like a super serious run, we just did it for banter in it. And yeah, filming every kilometer. I actually used, so I used this phone, the Google Pixel 4. I don't know how it's gonna actually turn up on this, but by the looks of the actual camera when I was using it, it looked pretty sick. A few people have been asking about fitness and running and all that sort of stuff. And obviously like after the marathon as well, it's like, how do you train for it and all that sort of thing. Briefly, yeah, in terms of like preparing for any sort of like decently long run, you usually have to finish eating solid food at around an hour. Depends on your metabolism, obviously, but like, give yourself two hours then obviously just make sure you're hydrated and then bosh like a coffee or some caffeine if you really want a bit before the race starts and then that'll kind of carry you through for the first hour or so 45 minutes so this morning wasn't really ideal preparation because it was relatively early i didn't have too much food beforehand and um, there's no real like strategy to a 10k i guess it's just don't run too quick because then that's how you always like hurt your legs and stuff but nice easy way to start a sunday which is cool and it's a good route as well it's quite flat so we can run a good time but yeah 45 minutes decent normal 10k for anyone wondering actually like how to start running and everyone's like asking why and all that sort of stuff running is a little bit boring but it's actually not that bad at all it's just like main thing just go out and just run you don't have to run quick at all you just get a little bit fitter and stuff it's like don't have to go mad and like try and run really really quickly because then you actually feel a bit crap um, the best thing about it is just you run and you just feel better like mentally, physically, you just like, it's just nice, get outdoors and stuff, fresh air and just exercise a little bit. So if you leave in the comments uh, any kind of like suggestions or any questions you want answered, I might do like a more extensive Q&A uh, later down the line, um, I could easily do one just uh, on what I eat during the day, what supplements I take, the protein, uh, how much exercise I actually do, that sort of thing um, and you know what. I find difficult and uh, in what areas I can sort of like help you guys if you're thinking about doing any of that sort of stuff. Um, so just let me know, leave it in the comments as well. Um, if you like the video, let me know. Let me know actually how the Google Pixel quality is because um, it looked quite good on my phone when I was doing it, but obviously I was running so my kind of head was all over the place anyway. So if you like the video, just leave a like, subscribe if you wanna just watch more videos and stuff in the future. Um, and that's it really. Hope you are having a good day. 
Uh, and I'll see you in the next one, I guess. Yeah.